This Equipment World video is brought to you by Chevron Dello 600 ADF Ultra Low Ash Diesel Engine Oil. It's time to kick some ash. Today we're doing something very different. We're reviewing this bad boy. This is the Hilti XOS Exoskeleton. And we are going to put this thing through its paces and let you know what I think. So this is it. From the front, it doesn't look like much, but when you spin around, you can see the Hilti XOS in all of its glory. And I will say, this has not been that impressive. And I'm sorry to say that because I'm a huge fan of Hilti products. When I was told that I was getting to review this setup, I was very, very excited to take it on. But let's get into kind of just my overall how this progressed. So putting this thing on for the first time especially is actually quite an ordeal. There are adjustments everywhere and you actually have to take the time to adjust them appropriately so that the harness transfers the load of your arms down to your torso and your body so that it actually helps you and benefits you. But you've got adjustments here on the waistband. You've got adjustments on the chest strap. You've got adjustments on the vertical pieces of the chest strap. You have adjustments on the length of the arm cuffs. You have adjustments on the width of the arm cuffs. You have an adjustment on the tension which by the way as you can see it's really hard to reach while you're wearing the suit which means I now have to take all of this stuff off if I want to make any adjustments to the tension of the system you can already see that this thing's kind of a hassle to get into but it's okay that's my first time I accept that it's gonna take some adjustability and it's gonna take some time to get this thing tuned into my body now if you think about it from a contractor standpoint that's a little bit of an irritation because what if my buddy Larry over here wants to use the exosuit for 20 minutes? Well, sorry, Larry, but you got to strip this thing off of me, which it's covered in sweat, by the way, because this thing is hot, believe it or not. You've got these straps around here. You got the bars running up your back, the bicep cuffs. This thing gets pretty hot, especially when you're not in an air conditioned building. But all that to say, Larry's going to have to take it, spend seven-ish minutes getting it all tuned into Larry's body so that he can go throw up some light bulbs or go drill a hole in a wall. And then he's going to give it back to you. And now I have to spend the seven minutes retuning it all back to me and everything. The way the system actually works is you have a series of springs in here. They're connected with a wire over a cam like you would find in a compound bow. And so I'm fighting right now, this whole interview, I've been fighting with my triceps to keep my arms down so that I'm not hitting everybody in the face. And it's not a ton of effort, but at the same time, over the course of a full day, if you're wanting to use your arms at your side, you are gonna have a little fatigue in muscles that you're not used to having fatigue in because I'm having to fight to keep my arms at my side. Again, it's not a ton, but still, it's enough. Now, if I wanna do work kind of in this area, I'm still having to fight the exosuit because what the exosuit really wants you to do is praise Jesus all the time, all day long. This is where the exosuit wants to be. And to be honest, this is me with no effort into holding my arms up. The exosuit is taking all of that weight. And so you can see this is helpful for when we're doing overhead tasks. I'm not having to engage my triceps and everything to keep my arms up. But the second we come down to here, now I'm actually, we're still at that, we're right at that rotation point on that cam. And I'm having to actually fight the suit a fair amount. And if you're doing delicate piecework, like finish out electrical, which is one of the things I was doing while trying this out, it's kind of hard to do that without the suit kind of making your elbows pop out and stuff. If you're doing any sort of trim work where you need to be really detailed, you're going to be fighting the suit. And so that's where this thing in my mind kind of falls on its face. If I'm going to go spend $1,400, which is where the exosuit comes in at, if I'm going to go spend that kind of money on a device, it needs to work in all of this range up here to be truly functional for me, in my opinion. But this only works when you're in full upright praise Jesus mode. If I was running a Hilti drill and we were drilling wall anchors and they all just happened to be at full reach extension, great, that's awesome. But the problem is I'm not spending the entire day all the way at full arm extension. I'm spending a lot of my day somewhere in between and I'm always fighting the exosuit. Now when it comes to the actual support of things, 
But before we get into that, I want to take a second to tell you about the sponsor of this video, Chevron Lubricants. Protecting your diesel engine and its exhaust after treatment system has traditionally been seen as an either or proposition when it comes to choosing the engine oil that's going to protect your system. And that's exactly why Chevron spent more than a decade of R&D work developing a no compromise formulation. Now I don't have to tell you why a clogged DPF is bad news, but here's the real kick in the pants. 90% of that ash clogging up your DPF and then upping your fuel and maintenance costs, it comes from your engine oil. You might be thinking, why don't they make an engine oil with less ash in it then? You'll be happy to learn that Chevron agrees with you. They've developed a new ultra low ash diesel engine oil that is specifically designed to combat DPF ash clogging. Dello 600 ADF with Omnimax technology cuts sulfate ash by 60%, radically reducing the rate of DPF clogging and extending the DPF service life by two and a half times. Before you had to choose between protecting your engine or your after treatment system, now you don't. Dello 600 ADF with Omnimax technology. It's time to kick some ash. Now when it comes to the actual support of things, like I just demonstrated, it takes your arm support and it does that great. You no longer have to worry about supporting your arms. But now if I'm going to load myself up with a 30 pound Hilti drill and I'm hammering wall anchors into a concrete wall all day, it still doesn't have enough oomph in the exosuit that it's going to support that Hilti or something really heavy. Now my arms are re-engaging. Now mind you, you've taken a lot of the weight off of actually holding your arms. But again, if I'm going to pay $1,400 for a support system, I would expect that to take more of the weight and, and create a lot less fatigue. And by the way, I do have these dialed all the way up. So I'm getting the full support at reach and it's still not gonna be enough that it's gonna take all of the weight of a Hilti for me. And to bring this back to the dirt world, because again, I'm not a building trade guy and we don't have a lot of building trade guys that watch this channel. So I started to try to think of ways that we might be able to use it in the dirt industry. And one of the first things I thought about was a mechanic. If you're a shop mechanic and you've got access to a lift, this could actually work pretty well for you. I really hate to be so rough on Hilti, and I will encourage you guys, check out Hilti's line of products. They do have some real bangers in their inventory, but unfortunately, the Hilti XOS is just not one of them. So thanks for watching. As always, we'll catch you on the next episode of The Dirt.